It's been over two weeks since anyone has seen Miriam Torres Celia. Police in Greenbelt, Maryland are urging the public for any information that could help them find the missing second grade teacher. Miriam Celia, who is known at Dora Kennedy French Immersion School where she teaches second grade as Madam Celia, was last seen walking in her neighborhood wearing a multicolored dress and a headscarf around 8 p.m. on July 29, 2023. Friends believe she was headed to Shroom Hills Park, which is about two minutes from her home where she liked to walk. Because she is a devout Muslim, originally from the Ivory Coast, she was expected to be back home for evening prayer, but never returned. And due to those circumstances, she was reported missing later that evening. Shrum Hills Park in Greenbelt roped off with crime scene tape. The park shut down as police searched for a missing woman. Miriam Torre Silla was last seen at her apartment Saturday about 8 p.m. Katie Wayne is a close friend. Very, very concerned because this is so unlike her. Uh, she left her purse at home, her ID, so which means that she was just going to walk and come back home. Friends immediately searched the area and posted missing person flyers in the park hoping to find Celia and bring her home. But despite that search and an extensive search a few days later by police, no trace of Celia has been found. Investigators say her cell phone records, social media, bank accounts, and passport have given them no clues. We want to see Miriam, her sister said, having traveled from Ivory Coast to join the search. We are all concerned and we are all sad. I would like my Mariam come back. We love her. We need her. Please, Mariam, come back. During a vigil and prayer event held at Shroom Hills Park for Mariam Torre Celia, attendees spoke about Celia's dedication to the community where she lives and teaches. One described her as a really good woman who strived for a life of righteousness and a veteran teacher who enjoyed her students. During the event, attendees, including students and parents of Celia, went door to door in Greenbelt handing out flyers and asking if anyone has seen their teacher. The principal of Dora Kennedy French Immersion School, James Spence, described staff reaction upon hearing the news she was missing. On day one, we ran out and we started looking, he said. In the first hour, we were getting texts that they were going to go out and search these parts. I know these students are traumatized. I know that their teacher is missing. I'm traumatized as her colleague to know she's missing but her friends and colleagues are still hopeful that she'll be found safe. Police say they are receiving a lot of calls about this case and said that they have gotten tips from as far away as Pennsylvania. Greenbelt Police, a small department, are also working with state and federal agencies. Greenbelt Chief Richard Bowers said during a news conference that they believe that someone knows something about where Celia is, but they haven't come forward. He said the more time that passes, the greater their concern grows. Greenbelt police also said that they have no information that might link Celia's case to the discovery of two unidentified bodies in other parts of Prince George's County that they found in the past two weeks. After weeks of investigation, Greenbelt police aren't sharing any theories that they might be working on, saying simply they are considering every possibility, including foul play, even though they have no evidence of that so far. We continue to follow all leads that have come into us, Greenbelt Chief Richard Bauer said during the vigil. We keep all of our possibilities open as to the cause of her disappearance. Celia was described by police as a black woman who is approximately 5'5 and weighs 135 pounds. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Greenbelt Police Department at 301-474-7200. And that concludes all the information we have on what happened to Miriam Torre Celia. Hopefully she is found sometime relatively soon so that her family, the community, her fellow colleagues and her students and their parents can have closure. From what I've noticed with missing person cases, a lot of them are solved relatively quickly, uh, but there are some that do take a little longer to be found out. Hopefully she is safe and this is all some sort of misunderstanding where she didn't communicate where she was going. But really, we don't have any information. Like the police said, there's no information that confirms or doesn't confirm that there was foul play involved. But obviously, we're hoping that there was no foul play and that she is somewhere safe. And this is one of those things that makes missing persons cases so difficult. It's that there, there's never really any closure until you can find that person. So until that point, you're just kind of waiting for 
any information to come out. Hopefully this video brings some added awareness to this case. And hopefully, like I said earlier, her family, the community, her students, their parents, her co-workers, everyone does get some closure and we find out where, where Miriam Torre Celia is. But that's basically it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps the channel. It helps the video. It helps everyone. So hopefully you can do any of those things if you have the time and ability to do so. But that's it for me. Hopefully we do get some more information and hopefully Miriam is found safe and everything goes back to normal. But that's it for this video, and like always, I will see you next video.